Ready, set, go. What's up guys? So a few weeks ago I revealed that I got a new car and on Instagram I've been asking people, hey, what do you think my car is? And people were saying, oh, I got the new Supra, I got the new CA Corvette. But reality is, it's not that whatsoever. I'm actually going to get a lot of people kind of mad because it was a little bit clickbait, clickbaity. But it's okay because once you see what the car is, you actually realize how important it is to me. So without further ado, I will show you my new car and it's right here. This is my 1998 Honda CRV. But the catch is that's not that's all about this car. It's actually in the back. The whole reason why I got the CRV in the first place is actually for its film purpose. Now, this is something me and my friends all made together and we made this rig just for the camera. Because uh, I don't know if any of you guys knew, but the way I used to shoot my videos was that I would hang out from the car. And one, that's not really safe, even though I had a harness. And two, I didn't want to get harassed by the cops. So in my opinion, I've seen a lot of people like Anthony from Halcyon, Sam Schwa, and um, they, they made a rig for their car. And I was like, ooh, that's a good idea. I know I kind of copied their idea, but there's a lot of film cars nowadays where they are rigs and stuff. With the rig, I'll be able to shoot much more efficiently and uh, much safer too. So all I really have to do is put the camera right here on this plate. Now, uh, I think the hardest part of making the whole rig in the first place was uh, actually kind of designing my own plate system because one, I'm a college student too. And I don't have a lot, I don't have an infinite amounts of funds to really put into a car. Uh, so I got the car for free. It's actually been in my family since I was born. But uh, I think the hardest part was trying to make this whole rig itself because Online, there's a lot of people who make their own plates, but they're like a couple thousand, maybe like a thousand at the least to to make one. And I did so much research over the past few, like when I first started it, I did a lot of research to figure out how do I make my own. So everything is DIY and really everything works. So I'll, I'll get the gimbal right now. So here's my Ronin and I didn't want to lose some functionality or anything. So I made everything kind of, I bought this quick release online and it's going to be on here permanently so i'll just snap it in snap it out and there's the gimbal setup right now so here's one stabilizer and in a way this is another stabilizer it kind of oh. <laughs> it kind of acts as another gimbal to make sure my gimbal doesn't vibrate and it uses all these wires to kind of counteract any movements because if i attach the gimbal right directly to this plate You'll still see a lot of vibrations and um, it doesn't look too good. So a lot of the things that I wanted to do the most is figure out a way to make my own plates. I mean, they're not pretty compared to like what everyone else makes on uh, and sells, but it gets the job done and I was able to do it for a really cheap amount of money and that's what I needed because I can't spend too much on this whole setup itself. But yeah, so this is my, <laughs> my whole film rig over here and I, I don't know. It's nothing crazy, it's not a super fast car or anything, but it gets the job done. And that's what I needed the most. And I'm gonna show you some clips right now where we did some testing and shooting with uh, my friend Kevin's car. We also did a double feature shoot with um, an R8 and a Superleggera. So we, hopefully that video will be out soon, but honestly, I am super happy and content with how this car functions and performs. And it's a Honda, it's super easy to maintain, it's super cheap. And I don't really see much of an issue right now. The car is basically brand new. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but CRVs, they last a really long time. The, the, the only reason why CRVs ever go off the road is simply because, not of the motor, but because people hit them and um, it get totaled. So this motor is a B20, so it only has 133,000 miles. And for a Honda, that is super new, super, super new. Uh, I don't know, uh, let's take a walk around there, yeah. Um, I'm on a roll student, um, couldn't figure out a way to get the sticker off, but yeah, I'm trying to get it off. If anyone has any ideas on how to remove dried stickers and take off the adhesive, I tried Google, Google, I tried heat, and nothing's been working, so if you have an idea of how to take it off, let me know. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get it off as soon as possible. Uh, so the cool thing that DJI does when it comes to their stabilizers is they actually give you a free remote just to have in case you ever want to use this in some way where you can't use the top handles and I've actually never used this remote and I've had the gimbal for like three years now two three years 
and this has been in my box chilling and I never had a use for it because I was like why would I ever need to put the gimbal not in my hands but now it actually makes perfect sense to be able to utilize this and the way it works is that you really just control your gimbal and movements you really just use this area I think this is for more like tilting and whatnot but this is how you control the gimbal over here I'll probably show you guys later but yeah I mean I'm able to control the, the rig from inside my car so what I really need to do is just have my monitor set up inside the car and be able to just watch whatever I'm doing from here and then see what I'm whatever movements I'm doing and that's all I really have to do and uh, the cool thing about my rig too is that I made two different levels of uh, height adjustments so that way for low cars I could have a super low I guess it's a super low I consider it a super low this super low height and if I need to shoot any higher like facing downwards I have this other two bolts that I can just raise it upwards and I mean it gets the job done I'm really I'm really happy with how it worked the biggest part of it was just making this whole plate work and I wasn't even sure if it was gonna work because the car didn't run before I had it and I had to make the rig first so but once we finally got to test shoot and everything, everything was super smooth, super nicely done. And honestly, it's more than what I could ever like, imagine. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about my rig setup down below. Um, I'm still very excited to learn how to use it and stuff. It's, it takes a little bit of practice because I'm not used to using the controller just yet. Well, with due time, I'll be able to learn the best ways to take fire rollers and stuff. But I'm, I'm super excited and really happy at how this turned out. Um, so stay tuned guys for a video releasing very soon with Ari and Gallardo. Bye.